Hey guys, welcome back. Today, uh, we're just got a quick tip here from the computer. Um, if you've recently acquired one of these, uh, you may be interested in how you program that to get different features and functions. Um, so what you can do is you can navigate right here uh, to chirp.danplanet.com slash projects chirp wiki home and you can get to the software where you can download this for whatever platform you have. I happen to have a Mac here that I'm working on. I think this is Mojave 10, 1014 maybe. I can't remember exactly. But so basically uh, you can just go to this page and uh, it says get it right here, right? I mean, let's, uh, let's go ahead and click on the Apple. Uh, there's our chirp, chirp downloads. There's our Windows section. There's our Mac section. So we're going to go ahead and look through here and see what we've got. Uh, chirp Unified Daily 2020. That's what we look like we need to get. It kind of highlighted it for us. Mac OS Unified application. Now, you're on Windows. You can get it up here if you're on Linux. Um, we'll go back. You can go back and follow the Linux prompts. So uh, let's go ahead and save this. And now when that saves... Oh, I guess I should have mentioned open the browser your choice I'm using brave use whatever you like so it is now downloaded so I'm gonna double click that and it's gonna unzip that and yes there there it is right there so now I'm just gonna drag that to my applications now we may or may not be done there uh, let's go to applications and let's go to chirp because sometimes on the Mac You've got to do some different things. It'll it'll give you this warning. Chirp can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. And I think we're all familiar with Chirp if we're watching this video, right? It's open source. Um, so we say OK here. Now, what you'll have to do is go down to your system preferences down here. And I've already opened mine up to be ready for this. And then you go to security and privacy. And it will say... Chirp was blocked from opening because it's not from an identified developer. That's under the general tab here. So I can go ahead and say open anyway. And then it'll pop back up and say open. Now usually you only have to do that once. You know, next time you open Chirp, you shouldn't have to do that on your Mac. There he says, it says reporting is enabled. Okay. Uh, so that that's just going to be some things that we have to do uh, for programming as we get further but this is just a quick one on how to download and install it I know a lot of people when they when they have uh, issues on Macs when they download things especially open source total problems getting it running and I'll get around those a lot of times by using homebrew but in this case I don't think we're gonna have to do it I think if you read through the chirp details it says hey just download download the normal application package and, and use that uh, you know if you if you want to if you have an older version and you want to try this via homebrew because you're having a problem with this one uh, check out I'll see if I can link above here one of the videos I have on installing homebrew and installing applications from there because on my older Macs I have a, a an older one back behind me back here that I use sometimes too as a laptop that a lot of times I'll have to resort to homebrew on those but this one 1014 I didn't have to do it everything's up and running Maybe we'll get into a little programming video here soon. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's all we have today. Quick tip. We'll see you next time. Thanks.